it's now 5 a.m. in the morning. I didn't spend the whole night in the cottage and I don't think I ever will do. Welcome back guys to another episode of Dara scares the absolute shite out of himself for a night. Got all my supplies packed into here. The last time I did something like this, I went to an abandoned mine in the middle of fucking nowhere and stayed overnight. That was pretty damn scary. However, this time I'm going somewhere I've never been to before. This time I'm going to an abandoned cottage that my friends found while trekking through the woods one day and said, even during the day, it was terrifying. My friend Niall has already given me basic instructions on how to get there. So let's go. Okay, we're here. Right now, it is already 10 to 10 at night, even though it's very bright, but that darkness, that lightness, is gonna be gone very soon. Also, I'm really glad to see that nobody else is actually here. Because if there's other cars here, I don't know, I feel like I wouldn't know what they're doing. I'm glad this is the only car right now. Okay, I just got off the phone with my friend. You just need to continue along this road and then I'll come to an abandoned nursery and a couple of buildings. And in amongst those buildings, there is the cottage that I am looking for. The sounds of the birds are actually quite comforting. It's when they go kind of silent that it's nerve wracking. Footprints, tire tracks. Kind of scares me even more because that uh, let me know that it's much more accessible that people can get through here. <laughs> Sorry, Niall. Uh, quick question. Are you meant to reach the lake on your right? No. You're, you're really close. You've gone a little bit past it. Oh, I've gone a little bit past it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Alright, bye Niall. Thank you. It's getting dark. I need to get there quick. I need to take out the torches. Okay, the bugs are getting pretty damn annoying. But we're nearly there, so let's go. Okay, there's a few buildings around, and just up ahead is the cottage. Okay, here we are at the cottage, and it is not abandoned. There is no way it's abandoned. The bugs are getting very fucking difficult to deal with. This is way more like a hermit's retreat or something, right on, along the lake. Um, now I've been shining the light in. I've been shining the light in. <gasps> Christ. <laughs> Just walked into the tree and scared the shit out of myself. Hello, is there anyone in the cottage? I don't, I don't think there's anyone in the, there's, and I don't, I don't. What the fuck? Hello? This is not abandoned. This is someone's hideout drinking spot. It looks like there's pota there's potatoes on, on the on this bar. It it's a damn bar. Good old Guinness. Heineken. They're disco stew shoes. Disco stew shoes. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I can justify myself staying here. I'm just gonna get out of here as soon as light comes up. I'm literally just gonna set a mat down here and get into my sleeping bag so that at least I can get away as quick as possible. Okay, now I'm somewhat settled in. So, somewhat settled in. It's time to tell you 
the scariest part about this. I asked around and found a ghost story of these buildings here. Supposedly a woman who lived in a cottage in these buildings. I assume it is this cottage. She drowned out in the lake just down here. <sighs> and her ghost keeps coming back. And it was she was spotted crawling out of the lake. And after it was abandoned as it is now, she was spotted walking around the cottage trying to get back in. Now obviously, I think all ghost stories, any superstition, to me, I think, are, is a lot of shit. And that's how I put it to the test. And now, after that story, I have to try to get to sleep here. <laughs> I haven't fallen asleep yet. And suddenly my phone is vibrating like crazy for no reason. phone going off is absolutely terrifying because other than that there is no noise whatsoever. It is completely silent. I am properly scared right now because oh, I thought I saw a face go past the window but it's just the way I put the light through the window. This is probably one of the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. So now I'm going to up the stakes one more time. <laughs> you know the whole say Bloody Mary into the into a mirror three times that she'll appear? Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Fuck, oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh my fucking god! Oh fuck not him! Sorry man. Oh no, you got me fucking good. Oh fuck it out. Come here, give me a hug. Oh, oh. Oh. It's so good to see you. Just prop this up. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh my god, no. I see see it. It. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry. So we're fucking <laughs> scary. <laughs> Come on in, guys. <laughs> There's three of you. Hell, I'm Thomas. <laughs> I was properly freaking out, guys. I Did you see me go head. by the window? Yeah. He didn't come out. Come he's, in. he's like just frozen in fear on the ground. <laughs> Lads, I feel sick. I actually properly feel sick. I was in there. We were, we were a bit scared like, coming out, okay. man. It's scary out here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is Thomas, Phelan, and Niall are in there. They're after scaring the absolute shit out of me. They knew. I told them that I was going to be here tonight. But guys, you told me that it was an abandoned cottage. It's not like it is abandoned. It's abandoned. That's not abandoned at all, man. People are drinking there. This is like a party place for someone. Yeah, this table wasn't set up like that. Look at that. What about this? This is a swanky jacket, man. Although you scared the absolute crap out of me, um, I'm glad that you're here, you know? Are you coming back with us? Yes, I am, yeah. Why? Because <laughs> this. At least you have Jesus looking over you. All right, bring me home, please. Well, that was an exhilarating ride. My friends coming to scare me was probably the best and worst thing to happen. I was actually, actually terrified, but I knew as soon as the figure of, of my friend Niall became clear, I knew it was him instantly, even with that mask, because he, he always wears that mask. <laughs> if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or whatever, whatever those things are these days, uh, like, a comment and a, and a oh please yeah subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video I shall talk to you guys later if you want another dose of dynamite